All right. So we have with us today, Jackson Draws. How are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you? I'm just fine. I'm just fine. I got to say that I appreciate you, uh, you hanging out with me uh, so many nights as I've seen you do. That's that's awesome. I also want to say yeah, that I enjoy I'm... your videos, man. I enjoy your drawings that I've seen. Thank you. You are welcome. So, what uh, what part of the country are you from? What like like state? Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. My mother was actually from Pennsylvania originally. So, uh, so I'm very familiar with it. She uh, she was such a huge fan of Pen Pennsylvania Dutch items. So uh, I wanted to talk to you today. Let me see if I lock that meeting again. Yeah, it is. I wanted to talk to you today about um, drawing from the right side of the brain. And I had these all called up <laughs> Friday night, so I may have to call them up again. Have you ever heard of that or, or read the book? I have not. <laughs> Let me see if I can call that up here real fast. Uh, it, it helped me. It really did. All right. There we go. I'm going to switch to Hedgehog for a quick second. So. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Turn you down a little bit in case we get some popping. <clears throat> I can't. Give me a. Give me just a second here. I can. Uh, go ahead and talk again. Uh, hello. <laughs> oh, much better. All right. Jackson draws is back. All right. So what? Uh, what I was wanting to talk to you about, like I said, is this book that I got probably when I was about your age, and it's called Drawing from the uh, Drawing from the Right Side of the Brain. Can you see that? I think if I can zoom in on that just a bit. Uh, there it is on Amazon for about uh, 14 bucks. It, uh, it changed the way, uh, the way I looked at drawing entirely. And, and I want to say that it also covered um, negative space drawing. And negative space drawing is, let's say, let's say you, you have trouble drawing eyes. Well, a lot of people will say, instead of drawing the eye like you think it looks, draw those elements around the eye as they relate to one another. Don't even think of it as an eye. You literally like will draw the eye, just concentrate on the eyelid and draw it in the same shape that is. Then you, you draw the wrinkles behind that, and then maybe the lower eyelid, and you would draw around that, and then, then maybe the duct and, and some, I don't know, crow's feet or whatever, and, and throw some lashes on. Then you look at the iris, and instead of drawing the iris, draw the white of the eye first, and inside the uh, you know the frame you just made, <clears throat> and then you draw the 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 iris, not the pupil. And then when you stop and you look at it, you go, oh my God, that's a wonderful eye. <laughs> Was that too much? <laughs> no, I got it. <laughs> I'm taking notes. Well, you know, be oh, are you really? Yeah. <laughs> Be careful with that. I'm, I'm liable to say stuff that's not right. <laughs> no, but it really, it really ramped up my my understanding of, um, of of one why I couldn't figure out how how to do faces uh, that well, or, or even some animals. And I know you're a you're a big animal drawer, so um, yeah, I'm mostly dinosaurs. I, yeah, yeah. Well. Um, you could, you could apply the same thing to that too. Let's say let's say you wanted to draw a dinosaur and, and maybe a, a prehistoric background. <clears throat> the you would literally draw the background behind the dinosaur and ignore the dinosaur at all. And then when you look back at it, it's like, wow, that's that's the exact outline of the dinosaur that's standing right in front of that background. It's really remarkable. I'm, I'm I know I'm I'm pushing this really heavily, but it's really cool, dude. So tell us, how did you get started drawing? Um, I'm not sure actually. I know it's tough. I remember that's, I that's drawing dinosaurs, 
because uh-huh. of beanie draws. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beanie draws? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've seen him on a couple of live streams. Absolutely. In fact, I think I'm I'm um, I'm uh, <clears throat> I think I'm subscribed to his channel because I wanted to go back and look at some of his stuff. So, do you do you take art classes you, in school? Um, I mean, there's an art class like at school. But I don't have mm-hmm. it this year. I had it last year, and I'm gonna have it next year. Oh, okay. But I want to take well, art lessons. Oh yeah. Yeah. What what is where does thirteen put you nowadays? What what grade? What grade is thirteen? Eighth grade. Oh okay 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 yeah. So you don't like have well, may may not have electives. Um, but yeah yeah, very cool. Yeah, ninth yeah. grade you have that. Right right. Do you have a um, uh, is your is your high school a four year or do they have they broken out ninth grade into its own? Um, it's all like one building. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. That that that's a lot different than than my time. <clears throat> I mean, ninety eight percent of high schools were all ninth through twelfth, but um, <clears throat> yeah. And, and I really, I really loved art class. My my problem was uh, I had too many outside interests. I was racing motocross. You know, got got uh, got involved with uh, with with the women's. <laughs> Hindsight's twenty twenty though. I, I, you probably saw the show with uh, TT Train where I was trying to tell him that same thing. But you know, so so is your dad. So I'm I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go down <laughs> that road. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I oh, I know. Been on the show tonight, but um, uh-huh. cool school got canceled tomorrow because there's snow coming. Or it's gonna oh. be really cold. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be cold here in Indy. I didn't realize you were, uh, you guys had snow going in. Um, well, that's cool. So you you got a kind of a free night, right? Yeah, I was busy on Friday when I said I was gonna go on then. Yeah, I saw you pop in and out. So I, I saw you pop in and out a couple night. times. Well, <laughs> well, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy we finally got together on this, and uh, yeah. and, and really. Um, I really want to hear what after you after you get this book and the, that's the that's the one thing that uh, kind of kept me out of some trouble was uh, I, I I I really enjoyed reading uh, so so do me a favor and uh, and get this book because if you if you really want to if you really want to draw more get into it and and you know hone your skills uh, between art classes this this is a really good way to do it taking the advice of people who have gone before you. <clears throat> so let's yeah, uh into it. let's do oh absolutely let's see oh was what is it called again? it's called drawing from the right side of the brain and I'll, I'll bring that back up on screen uh you can you can always go back to this and see it uh there there's several place to get places to get it uh heck you can, you can even get it on ebay for as low as uh 3.99 so uh oh you know if, if that's a buy it now price but uh yeah Drawing on the right side of the brain. What it does is, uh, if memory serves, and, and remember, I probably read this when I was your age, but it, it helped me understand how to use my analytical side of the brain as well as my creative side of the brain and uh, have them work together because often they, they kind of work at odds. And that's why that's why people have blocks when, when it comes to drawing specific things. You know, they try to think about it too analytically or too creatively. And, and if you can get your... If you can get uh, tap both sides of your brain and get them all working as a well honed machine, then your your drawing really improves. I I could I could I could drag up a uh, a drawing that I did when I was about your age, where it was right after I'd written that book, and it was like the best portrait I'd ever done. Oh, excuse me. And I I don't even consider myself a portrait uh, um, uh, artist. I, I'm more of a landscape artist. <clears throat> oh, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna go to your channel. We got we got to take you a look at your channel. I want to get people interested in uh, those those people like you and being beanie draws. <clears throat> what are you, what are your plans for your channel? Are um, you specific? I don't know. <laughs> um, well, answer me know. this: Why uh, 
hang on answer me this why um why do you create videos uh today um <laughs> probably just like show people and yeah. get yeah. it out there kind of and sure. because mm. bd draws is where i started it and probably where the idea uh -huh. of posting drawing videos came from mm -hmm. well that's certainly yeah. <laughs> as good as a reason as, as any right Look at you, 137 yeah. subscribers. I also didn't think I was going to get 100 when I started it. You didn't think so? Remember, well, I, I hope so, but I didn't expect it to happen that fast. <laughs> it was going to be in a, happen like well, in a few months. congrats on that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How long did it um, take you? Um, I started the channel on like September and then I took a month off. Uh huh. And then I started it again. That's cool, dude. I'm I'm going over it again. Sorry, I'm transfixed. Let's let's uh let's bring it up. If we, let's kill this. There we go. There it is. There's Jackson draws. Yeah, I love that. And, and you're even you're even working on your uh, your thumbnails, which is nice. You're getting uh, you getting some text on there, which which should draw in even more people. Did you? Let me ask you this: Did you do any um, promotion like uh, to family and friends on on your Facebook page, that sort of thing? Have you done that yet? No, I only the only social media that I have is Twitter, and I have like eight followers. Uh -huh. I try to promote that on my channel so I can get more followers mm -hmm. on that. So where do you figure most of your subscribers came from? You hang out on a lot of live streams or something? <laughs> I, I actually have no idea. <laughs> I do go on lots of live streams. I don't know if that's it. Well, there's a big market for for uh, artists I've noticed since I got into this a little deeper. And I think that's working uh, you know, in your favor. People love to... Well, fellow artists love to see other artists work, and people that can't, they they really enjoy watching people who have a bit of talent do what they can't do. So I think you're in a pretty good niche, my friend. Oh, I haven't looked yeah. at your time lapses. Dang it! I also only have um, <laughs> an iPhone five to record, uh -huh. edit, and then upload videos. Hmm. I gotta make thumbnails <laughs> on that, and it really has any storage yeah. left. So I'm trying to. I need well, a laptop or something. Looks like you're doing a bang up job, my friend. I'm very happy for you. Oh, look at that Sprite Thank Cranberry. <laughs> there's there's a good example of what I was talking about. Um, yeah, that video had like... I... Yeah, 583 views. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's right there in the center. And... Uh, that, but that that's a great one for negative space because, you know, when you're doing a logo or something and, and it's hard to do those letters, if you draw around the letters, if you draw the spaces around the letters, uh, you come back and you'll find that uh, those letters are outlined very nicely. <laughs> yeah. I also did so, get um, a new drawing desk for Christmas and a bunch of new drawing supplies. So that's... Oh, you did? That's nice. Yeah. But yeah, very cool. I didn't have is, a... it, is it different than... My, is it different than the one uh, I saw on your live stream? Um, no, I think because I didn't even have a desk at all, and I really oh, okay. wanted one for a long time. Because I used to mm -hmm. draw laying on my stomach on the floor for like two hours because I didn't have a desk to draw on. But I finally got one. That's for hard Christmas. on the back. Yeah, that, that's it's hard really on the back, nice. isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, man, uh, uh, 13 years old, that, that's, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Lots of uses for that. Well, you're, you're, you're doing a banging job for 13, man. Some of these, uh, some of these drawings are really nice. Megalodon, Pterodon, I don't even know how to say that one. Gallimimus, 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 I think. Gallimimus. I yeah. used to be a big dinosaur guy when I was uh, a kid. Thought, thought for sure I was going to be an archaeologist. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
what else you want to talk about, man? You got anything else on your mind? Um, How, are things? Not really. How are things going in school? Um, pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Well, keep at it, my friend. Keep at it. Oh, we're in an hour. Um, yeah, keep at it. I think, uh, imagine, imagine what, uh, what'll happen when you do open this up to your family and friends. I haven't done mine yet. I'm waiting for a larger audience, but, uh, <clears throat> my niche is one of those yeah, weird I, I ones told where. Friend, some friends. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're probably helping really me. Do on um, social media. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're probably helping by, they're probably making mention of it as well, which is awesome. <laughs> I haven't done it because, um, um, you know, oh, what I was saying was that my, my genre is a little bit, a little bit uh, off the beaten path. It's, it's hard to find people who are looking for shows like mine, <laughs> but you've got a good niche going there, man. You've got a really good niche and, uh, you, you, uh, you keep working on the text on those, um, on those, uh, thumbnails. And you'll be an odd one ones out in no time. <laughs> Are you going to do any uh, animations? I know you've got time lapses uh, um, here. Yeah, no. Maybe if I eventually get a better phone or computer to do it on. But mm -hmm. not right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that that seems to be huge. Is, or is it just me? <laughs> no, I think it is. Yeah, there's a lot of people that dig that. I, there's there's like three of them that I follow, and and it's because I'm you know I'm interested in the. You gotta be, uh, you gotta be funny as well. You gotta be funny as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, um, we'll have to have you back on the show. Um, and and actually, we could we could highlight one of your. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go look at your time lapses when we get out when we get done here. And uh, maybe we can feature one of those videos. How does that sound? Mm, Still yeah. with me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad we finally got you on. And I hope you remain a, yeah, uh, I uh, a viewer. On too. Yeah, it, it's been a while. I mean, how, how long have we been trying this? Like <laughs> two or three weeks? <laughs> Try, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it happens. In fact, uh, most of the people that I talk to, um, outside of the the chat room, you know, it, it takes it takes a few weeks to get to get things to, together. It seems, <laughs> and that's cool. You know, who am I if I'm not patient? <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to probably uh, probably shut her down for tonight and and work on a a theme for tomorrow night. But we'll have to have you back on. All right. All right. See you. Have a nice night. Hey, see you. Uh, keep up the good work, will you? And thanks thanks so much for coming on. Okay. Jackson Draws, everyone. <laughs> Take care, bud. Did you enjoy this video? Well, you made it to the end, so I'm going to assume you did. If you want to see where this takes us, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell right now so you don't miss out on future videos and guests. Also, make sure to comment, like, and share our videos to help us build this unique community. Thanks again for watching and remember to always treat others as you want to be treated. See you live.